हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एवरी वन नो लारावेल रिलीज लारावेल सेवन एंड इंट्रोड्यूस न्यू पैकेज एरलॉक लारावेल एरलॉक प्रोवाइड सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन ऑथेंटिकेशन मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड टोकन एपीआई सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज लारावेल एरलॉक इन लारावेल सेवन so now we no need to install any other package for authentication so let's create one laravel application specify dash dash auth tag because laravel mode laravel authentication in separate package laravel ui so if we no not specify this tag we need to install separately for authentication so let's install it you can check here laravel ui already installed with new applications so let's go in laravel airlock directory let's open the project in editor here is a laravel airlock first we need to set up database here so let's create database in mysql laravel airlock and we need to set up here we installed laravel ui in application so we need to run npm install for compile css and js for displaying a beautiful ui of login and register screen npm install successfully so now we need to run npm run dev command for compiling css and js compiled successful now we need to run migration for creating user stable which is provided by laravel you can see here register screen let's register one user logged in successful and registered so laravel setup is done now we need to look into laravel airlock here is a installation step of laravel airlock and complete documentation so we need to first of install laravel package via composer so you can see here the package is installed successfully now we need to publish 
provider two files are published first one is airlock.php for config and one is a migration so we need to run migration first of all create personal access token table created in our database so let's check in database you can check here personal access token created laravel airlock work with database and store your token in database now we need to specify middleware in kernel.php in api section you can find kernel.php in app directory and specify here also please do not forget to add namespace in use section so copy from here and paste here so you need to specify middleware here so laravel airlock setup is done let's take one example how to create token so create one controller for that first of all psprt api controller created inside controller directory let's create here login function inject request here we need to validate request so let's write logic here specify email and password email is required and password also required now find user from database user where specify request email now we need to check user is found or not so specify if condition also we need to validate password from database so we are using has check method for validating password and 
specify user password from database if password not match or user cannot found that time we need to throw validation exception with message you need to specify message here with key and value so provided credential is in correct if user is valid and found from database that time we need to create token and return it so you can create token using create token method you need to specify token name so we just provide email and plain text token and please do not to forget to import this namespace of users request hash and validate exception one more thing is we need to specify trait in user model we need to specify here has api tokens trait and need to specify in use section laravel a lock is token trait so now we need to create route for that so let's open api dot route file and specify specify one route for that login specify controller name here and specify login method here here is a login method we declared for login so let's try to call this endpoint and generate token we are using a postman for calling endpoint of login you need to specify api then login in url i already added credentials email password so let's try to generate one token you can see here token is generated let's try to access user profile data via user api we need to specify this token as a barrier token we need to provide url of the endpoint 
users but we need to specify air lock middleware in route and now call the endpoint of users you can see here we got the all detail of logged in user so let's create a logout for revoking a token we need to specify method get path logout method as well logout we need to specify middleware of this route of auth airlock still something we are missing everything fine let's declare logout method in controller we need to get user from request so let's get user from request now we need to revoke tokens so need to specify tokens method also specify delete method for rev revoking a token so let's try to call logout api and check we need to specify logout here and make a call you can check here we got one count one token remove and revoke the access this token stored in database let's generate one token and check in database you can see here when we log out it's removed from database we specify wrong token we need to give latest in logout API you can check here the token is deleted so Laravel L log provide good way to authenticate user can generate multiple token and use it thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you